times fall I won't feign surprise It won't come as a shock Cause I never believe in lies When the bombs fall Then they could fall any time They're gonna end it all For a third of Welcome from Beijing. You're watching CCTV News. I'm Wang Mengmang. We begin in Japan, where the operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant says radiation at a storage tank has spiked 18 volt, a level so high that it can't kill anyone exposed within hours. Now let's get more on one of our headlining stories. Radiation levels around a leaking tank at the Fukushima nuclear plant in Japan are 18 times higher than was originally thought. New readings showing levels of radiation high enough to give a lethal dose to a human being in as little as four hours. So this is a reading that has been taken at the same tank uh, that leaked water last week or about 10 days ago. And what we found out today is the reading that was taken on Saturday has shown radiation in water around that tank is actually 18 times higher than was initially thought from a reading that was taken when the leak was discovered a, a little over a week ago. So initially they said that they thought the radiation level was about 100 millisieverts an hour. Now they're saying 1,000 800 millisieverts an hour. Uh, and what's more shocking about this is the reason. Apparently, according to uh, Tokyo Electric Power's spokesman, uh, the, the equipment that was used to take the initial reading uh, just over a week ago was only able to read up to 100 millisieverts. And now they're using much more sensitive equipment that is able to read up to 10,000 millisieverts. And they have suddenly taken a reading of 1,800 millisieverts, 18 times higher than before. The operator of the crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant has detected extremely high levels of radiation on some of its storage tanks. Radiation at this level can kill a person in four hours. Officials of Tokyo Electric Power Company announced on Saturday that high levels of radioactivity were found in four areas in the complex where tanks containing contaminated water are located. The utility has been monitoring more than 900 storage tanks since about 300 tons of radioactive wastewater leaked from a tank on August 20th. TEPCO officials say one of Saturday's readings was 1,800 millisieverts per hour. Radiation at this level can kill a person in four hours. In another area, radioactivity of 230 millisieverts per hour was measured at a puddle underneath a pipe connecting tanks. No change of water levels was detected at the tanks, but TEPCO believes new leaks are possible. It's checking whether contaminated water has reached the ocean. TEPCO officials say one of Saturday's readings was 1,800 millisieverts per hour. 
Radiation at this level can kill a person in four hours. In another area, radioactivity of 230 millisieverts per hour was measured at a puddle underneath a pipe connecting tanks. No change in water levels was detected at the tanks, but TEPCO believes new leaks are possible. It's checking whether contaminated water has reached the ocean. Professor, how can they have got this so terribly wrong? Well, <laughs> yeah, it's a good question. I don't know. It smacks of uh, a rather amateur approach to this problem, which is a serious problem. But I understand, although one measurement gave 1,800 uh, millisieverts, two or three other measurements that they made at the same time only gave 70 and 80 millisieverts, uh, and that this high value only came from one drop of liquid which had been extracted from the tank. Well, I mean, yeah, these may be, you know, all wrong, in fact. The top bottom it is that, that uh, if the, the figures that they mention are correct, uh, then the, the ac there's a scale of nuclear accidents, and, and, and this accident will be raised from one, which is the lowest figure on the accident scale, to three, uh, which means it is a serious accident, but it, is, it, you know, it can be contained and things can be done to put it right and all the rest of it. But uh, it makes me think, that, that, that perhaps TEPCO are, are struggling to deal with this uh, and they could do with a bit of assistance from other people around the world who okay. are accustomed to decommissioning nuclear power stations and the like. Okay, so pardon me for interrupting you there, but point number one, how dangerous is this contaminated water now? And point number two, what are they doing with it? Well, the contaminated water is dangerous and you don't want to be involved with it. That's why it's being stored in a series of very large tanks. Uh, what has leaked is one of these. What do you want? <laughs> is one of these tanks. What will happen in the end is that the, the levels will be perhaps more carefully measured than have been measured uh, up to now, and then it will be worked out how much dilution of that water is necessary before it's just put into the sea. Thank you for a memorable afternoon. Usually one must go to a bowling alley to meet a woman of your stature. Arthur, I see no reason for prolonging this conversation unless you're planning to knock over a fruit stand later in the evening. Good luck in prison. And that won't present a problem. Perhaps you should realize that the sea is radioactive, amongst other things, contains uranium and various, various other things. So diluting it, which is what they'll have to do, and it's a fairly tricky chemical engineering process, and then it will be put into the sea. Professor, we must leave it there. As ever, the clock's beaten us, sir, but thank you very much for your time. Earthquake drills are being held across Japan on Sunday. More than 1.3 million people are expected to take part in various exercises throughout the day. A government-led drill this year is based on the scenario that a magnitude 9.1 earthquake in the Nankai Trough along the Pacific coast devastates much of western and eastern Japan. An emergency task force was set up at the Prime Minister's office shortly after 8 a.m. Government officials decided that they would take charge of allocating food and medicine in view of the extensive damage. A joint drill was also held in Chiba Prefecture, east of Tokyo, simulating an earthquake striking directly below the metropolitan area. Emergency drills are held every year on September 1st, because the date marks the 1923 Great Kanto earthquake. Well, that measures is something that uh, the Japanese public are questioning because uh, this incidence of uh, leakage has been repeated uh, in, in the past uh, year or so, and TEPRO said uh, they cannot deny the possibility that uh, uh, the water is leaked uh, into the sea as well, and they are under investigation. They ha as you said, they have uh, found new leaks uh, in four different places, and uh, but they said that uh, uh, it, it's not a, a, a sort of huge leak. They found the dripping. I appreciate the tenor of the conversations. Uh, I think it will actually yield results uh, before the end of the year, and I look forward to continuing this dialogue in the months ahead. Thank you very much, everybody. Uh, water from some of the joints uh, in the tank, and they have uh, straps and shafts, uh, strapped to shafts, and also. Uh, uh, prepared new containers uh, to move the wa to waters, but uh, uh, the work is going slow due to the high radiation. As you said, it's uh, 
1800 millisievert, which is uh, uh, deadly if you're exposed to it uh, for a few hours. So um, uh, the investigation and also the, the work is doing so, but uh, EPCO uh, is trying to reassure people that it's, uh, it's under control. But uh but I'm also reminded of that statement by John Mitchell back in the Nixon presidency days when he said, watch what we do, not what we say. Public are questioning, well, it's been repeated so many times, what can they do and what can the government do? And there have been repeated reports about leaks of contaminated water at the plant, sparking anger and concern in Japan. So tell us what does this crisis mean for residents there, especially farmers and fishermen? Well, fishermen has, uh, have already stopped uh, test fishing uh, indefinitely. Uh, they, they have not... Uh, 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 they have not decided uh, when to try again until the situation is under control in Fukushima. And they are uh, somewhat compensated but worried that uh, a fishing industry might die out in, in the coast of uh, Fukushima. And farmers are also worried that water is seeping into the underground water sources. But more, or more so, that uh, the radiation scare will cause people to stop buying Fukushima products already uh, Tokyo grocery stores that continue to be continue to be asked uh, where those uh, uh, the products are from, and uh, some of, some people are shying away from buying Fukushima products, and that's a great worry for the farmers of Fukushima trying to recover, and also the displaced uh, residents uh, are now uh, 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 trying to decide whether they are uh, whether they're going to settle in for long term uh, or, or whether they uh, will seek possibilities of going home, but at uh, this rate. Uh, many of them felt that, that they will never be able to go back to Fukushima again. Well, life for them will never be the same again. Thank you so much, Terence, for your report from Tokyo. We felt that putting our users in mortal danger for a quick buck was the right move. Uh, we need to get subscribed and get this unity stronger and beat YouTube at their own game. Okay, that's what this is about. Like I say, go to the Remix button, hit the Remix button. That way you'll have this video. And, and keep up with this. Otherwise, you know, YouTube's just going to control us, guys, and it's, it's really bad.